Today I'm back with my Land Rover Series 3. The last time you saw this Land Rover, I had rewired the electric fan, and I got a lot of comments. Why not just remove the mechanical fan from the engine because it takes a lot of power? I wasn't going to remove the mechanical fan, but then it got me thinking, how much power does that mechanical fan actually take? And could it be with an engine that makes such a small amount of power like this one, could that fan be taking a significant amount of the power produced just to run the fan? It's funny because just today someone came to me and asked me if I could dyno their pulling truck with and without the fan because their engine builder wanted to know how much power that fan is robbing from the engine. So earlier today, I ran a Ford pickup with an inline six cylinder with and without the fan, and that gave some interesting results. Let's do the same experiment with the Series 3 Land Rover, and then we'll compare the two results. Okay, I have all the equipment hooked up. I have my pendant and the computer is over there. Let's make the first run and then I'll make another run as it is right after that just so that we can compare and make sure that the dyno is reading accurately every single time. And then we'll take the fan off and see what difference it makes. take the choke off then I'll let it come up to temperature before I start the run the gauges are looking good let's start the run about 70 miles an hour this is more about the fan so I'm going to stop at 70 miles an hour for each test okay it looks like it made 36 horsepower and if I load the file from the last time I ran it it made 41 horsepower 39 horsepower 39 39 so it looks like I'm a down on power from the last time I ran this, which it looks like the last time I dynoed the Series 3 was in 2015. So let's run it one more time and see how close it gets to this number tonight. And then we'll take the fan off and compare that to these first two runs.
Okay, that time it was actually back up to 40 horsepower. So maybe we should bring in all of the old runs. which are anywhere from 36 to 41 horsepower. I'm guessing the 36 was just because it was not as warmed up as maybe it was in these other runs. But I'm glad to see that the old girl is still doing good. So let's take the fan off. If we have a change of only about five horsepower, then, you know, we could knock that some of that into dyno error. But if we have a significant increase then we definitely know it was from the fan. Let's see what happens. I think I'm gonna let the electric fan run for a little bit because this is very hot now. And I have to be putting my hands in between the two hottest parts in order to get that steel fan out of there. Luckily, it looks like this will fit in here. So help out make it a little faster. moment of truth that time we had 43 horsepower so removing the fan we gained another three horsepower which is quite a bit when you're only making 40 in the first place I'm a little surprised that this number is so small but this is also why I didn't feel like I needed to remove the fan in the first place because I didn't think it was going to make that much of a difference the steel fan on the Land Rover does not have very many blades. It, however, does have fixed pitch blades. So these are heavy steel and they do not change. As this spins up, it's going to use more power the higher RPM you have. And of course, on a Land Rover, you're not going to be running at high RPMs very often. Most of the time, at most, you'll be cruising around at 55 miles an hour. Now let's take a look at the results from the Ford earlier today. The Ford was running a different type of fan. It was running what is called a flex fan. And this is supposed to help you not rob horsepower as your RPM increases. The fan blades will bend out at higher RPM, making them flatter so that the fan is functioning less at high RPM and more at low RPM, such as in traffic when you actually really need it. So I did do two runs with the Ford and both of them were within a couple horsepower of each other. So 195 horsepower with the fan installed. And remember this is a flex fan that should not be robbing a lot of power at high RPM. When we took the fan off, the truck instantly gained 10 horsepower. So why is the flex fan using more power than my steel fan? The flex fan is not supposed to be robbing power at high RPM. Well, there's two things. The flex fan had more blades, so it's going to take more power than my small four blade fan that's in the Land Rover. And the engine in the truck revs up much further than the one in the Land Rover. The pickup we took to about 5,500, 5,700, somewhere in there. Whereas the Land Rover, we stopped about 4,500 RPM, which is where 70 miles per hour is on the Land Rover. So will you gain power if you remove this mechanical fan from your car? Yes, you will gain power, but depending on how high your engine revs up and the fan design that you're using, 
it may not gain you as much power as you think it does. So next morning, I decided to run the Land Rover two more times just to check the results. For the runs today, I had 41 and a half horsepower and 42 horsepower. So not as much gain from taking the fan off as I had last night, but it still shows that it is making slightly more horsepower without the fan than it did with the fan. But it isn't actually enough to justify taking the fan off in the first place. One thing that I forgot to mention is at low RPM, see the fan is not making much of a difference as far as robbing horsepower, but as engine speed increases, the horsepower difference also increases. And the numbers that we were looking at up here, those are only at peak horsepower. So if we move our cursor over to maximum RPM, with the fan we were making 33 horsepower, and without it, the best we did was 37 horsepower. So at higher RPM, the fan is definitely robbing a considerable amount of power. And if we go back and look at the Ford, the opposite was the case. At higher RPM, the difference between the fan and no fan got smaller because the fan was flexing, it was becoming more flat, and it wasn't using the power. So the flex fan does work at high RPMs, but it does rob power at low RPMs. That's going to be it for today. If you want to see more videos like this or more videos with my series Land Rover, comment below and click subscribe.